All right, hello everyone. Here we're back for a master's tutorial here. And hole number one, you can see how I have my bag set up. Um, what I'm going to do on this hole is, for the most part, just try to put it in play off the fairway and either give myself a long iron or a short iron into the pin here. We're just going to do um, kingmakers today for the most part. Uh, with the exception of a few berserkers, which you'll probably be playing for. So, you know, it doesn't really hurt anything to use them. Um, what I'm going to do with my spin, I'm going to basically just hit an Apoc 5 shot. This is exactly like Apoc 5 would be. Um, I'm going to try to land very centered here, like right around here, and do it with some curl. So that'll be about an eight ring adjustment, give or take, right around here. And I'm actually going to go into landscape. Now, landscape's not going to be required for this shot, but the writer that you get the ball, probably the better. Keep in mind that you probably do have to stay out of the sand now. So um, the way that I'm doing it, it's just a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more risky. You could play it out there pretty straight. And, you know, basically ensure yourself that you'll be at long iron range if you go straight, as opposed to trying to curl it back like me. And the minimum that you'll probably need to get aggressive like that is a POC 5 or a POC 4. Um, my opponent here with a season ball can probably, you know, probably outdrive me, to be honest with me, to be honest with you, so... You can see that their second bounce is longer than mine. However, you know, they played out straight. So you'll see that they'll they'll be leaving themselves a long iron shot guaranteed from there. Whereas I'm going to have the potential to stay to a short iron. So what I'm going to do here is just a little bit of top spin. Try to put the ball guide on the hole a little bit. And um, definitely do an overplay, 20% at least. You can see not much offset, just because I kind of want to see how this hill kind of responds to this shot. Ah! I need just a little bit of power. So this is probably 8 to 9 rings. You can see that I'm really getting to that max range there. And, wow, sure enough, I was able to get just a little bit of power to actually go in. Um, I did have just a little bit of counter um, curl back onto that. Um, but you can see that into a headwind like that up, you know, kind of up a slope a little bit, um, I can kind of change my spin to top spin without too much, you know, harm being done on the shot. Now, alternatively, I can kind of lay back intentionally if I want to, you know, take out some of the variance that can happen from hole to hole. But what I'll do um, in the future rounds is I'm just going to increase my top spin. I wanted to basically hit an Apoc 5 shot so you could see where you can get to. Plus, you know, I have alternate accounts that will probably need to model that shot. Otherwise, I'll have to just play back here and try to hold it out with a long iron you can see either way um, you're gonna have the opportunity to get it so um, you know just good luck with that hole there hopefully you found that uh, you know somewhat gives you an idea of what to do there and good luck and I'll see you guys on hole two